The seemingly innocuous rural area in South Australia has suddenly become home to one of the biggest sources of renewable energy in the world, built in 60 days. The US technology company Tesla has built the largest ever lithium-ion battery, which is plugged into the power grid in the state of South Australia. The state's premier unveiled the giant battery, which is powered by a nearby wind farm. This is an example of South Australia leading the world, uh, the world's largest lithium-ion battery. It's right here in Jamestown in South Australia, and it's already supplying power to the national electricity market. Australia is a major exporter of coal and is considered one of the world's worst greenhouse gas polluters. The state of South Australia is demolishing its coal-fired power stations and switching to renewable energy. That's imperative after a freak storm last year caused a statewide blackout highlighting the unreliable supply of electricity. The billionaire business tycoon Elon Musk offered to build the battery. The most salient point here is that the system will be Three, three times more powerful than any system in the, on Earth. This is a, this is not like a sort of a short like a minor foray into the frontier. This is like you know going three times further than anyone's gone before. Musk also promised that if it wasn't completed on time, it would be free. Lucky for him, the forty million dollar project was switched on ahead of schedule. It's a an exciting development. Uh, electricity storage has kind of been the holy grail for uh, the whole power business for 200 years now uh, because if we want to move towards variable renewables, uh, wind and solar produce their electricity when they want, not necessarily when we want. And so some way of storing the excess that they're producing, which can then be used when they're not generating, has been something we've looked for for many years. People in nearby Jamestown gave their verdict. Lifted our spirits because everybody's happy about it. And uh, we have our you know, question marks on it, but the result, end result will tell, won't it? Because it's never been called into action, we really don't know what's going to happen. And that's really all you can say about it. If it does uh, do the job, well and good. If it doesn't, it's just another one of those political stunts. So. Tesla's chief executive wasn't at the unveiling, but the state's new power backup supply seems sure to please climate change and pollution activists and possibly pave the way for other projects worldwide. Hannah Hoxter, Al Jazeera.